Hello everybody, Leon Nex here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on the Chrono Trigger mods, which includes the UI menu changes, the face portrait changes, and the font. So uh, I was uh, I was asked to do a tutorial on this, so I I will try my best to explain uh, how to get this uh, mod working on this game. So pretty much, yeah, uh, when this game came out it did not get good reviews due to poor uh, port. I'm not sure if this was like a port from from the other consoles, but it wasn't, it wasn't well received. So where do we get these mods? Well, they're pretty much, they're all in the Steam discussion uh, topic section, uh, section, and I will link it on the video description below. So pre yeah, pretty much you will find everything that you need uh, in, in, on one of these topics here. And also, yeah, I'll do one of the quick links uh, on the video description below just so you guys can uh, get the downloads of what you need. So the most important thing uh, for this mod is you need the, uh, this one program called CT Explorer, Explorer 1.4. And you can you you can get it here, and pretty much I got everything uh, downloaded already. So um, make sure you guys have a folder made too, just so uh, it just makes it easier just to find well, what you need. So before we get started, I just want to show you how the game looks like the default. So yeah, um, as of uh, ever since it got. Uh, poor reviews Square Enix decided to kind of patch things up just to make the game a little bit more decent so yeah there you go that's how it looks like right now so before before the when it first launched it did not have these uh, text uh, font and right now I think this is the DS the, the DS uh, uh, version font Okay, so let's just go see. So right now it doesn't look too bad. Right now, I mean, the, they did they did an okay job. It's it's presentable. <laughs> so, okay, so let's just see how it looks. Okay, so the battle menu doesn't look too bad, and the AP bars are kind of decent. It's a little bit too big you know, for me, but if you guys like it, it's uh, you can just leave it alone. If not, there's also a, a mod for it to re kind of reduce it or take it all out. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much how it looks like. So yeah, the uh, character portraits are all pixelated. Alright, so let's quit. Okay, and then let's get started. Okay, so uh, first I want to create a new folder. CT Explore. And then I'm gonna see. You wanna unzip the the CT program, explore program that you downloaded from that one link. And you wanna throw it here. Whoop. I didn't realize I have two. Okay, so yeah, so you just wanna drag everything. Just throw it in. Just like that. And then you wanna go to your Chrono Trigger uh, folder, main folder on the Steam. So it's, you know, uh, wherever you install this. So mine is just in my C drive and uh, yeah, it's in the Steam apps, Common tri Chrono Trigger. So what you want to look for is the resource bin. Um, if you can, do make a backup of this. Just so, just in case if you uh, screw up on your uh, in installation or um, uh, replacing the the uh, patch that that you got, you know, you could always uh, go back to the original. So I'm just gonna let's see, I'm just gonna save it somewhere. Well, actually, let me pull up my CT folder. I'm just gonna put it here, rename it. Let's rename this backup. And then we'll just, I'll just throw this back into the, 
you, you could you, you you could always leave it on on to any folder, but for me, I just kind of want to make it a little bit organized. I know I'm not very organized, but you just want to be able to separate uh, the files, just so you know. And uh, let's see, okay, so once we got that down, now we open up the CT Explorer folder, and then this should come up. Okay, so what you want to do is go to File, Open Archive. You want to look for the, the resource bin on that main folder for the Chrome Trigger. So mine was a C, Program Files, Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common, Chrono Trigger. Okay, and then you wanna, yep, you wanna open that resource bin okay so yep you should see something like this okay now let's just say if uh, you're okay with the uh, the transparent uh, menus and the battle uh, UI menus and all you want is just a patch you can just um, let's see go to see if you want to change just the font you can just extract the string bins here or you can uh, download the the font switcher which damn I should have uh... okay so here's the uh, font switch uh, where you can download it from the modding community as well and the only difference between this and the strings here is I think this is more um, more heavily modded but the bad thing about this is sometimes the text are t are too either too big or too long and it will go out of the text box in the game so let's try the, the strings uh the default strings here so what i uh, noticed is you can actually get uh three to four different uh fonts uh, by replacing uh, one of the strings here to string two so let's extract this Let's just extract this to the to our Chrono, Chrono Trigger Mods folder. I think it was on my desktop. And select the folder. So yeah, it should extract these here. Okay, so if you want to change this uh, one of the fonts, uh, just click on look for a string underscore two dot bin. Click on uh, highlight that, and then just go to replace, and then. Uh, just choose any any one of the um, um, of the string bends here. So let's uh, let's just say I want uh, three. Open. So once that's highlighted, just go to File, Save Archive. Just uh, wait for this progress bar to finish. Okay, so once you got that down, let's test it out. Let's test the game. Let's just see how the font looks like now instead of the Nintendo DS fonts. And let's check this out. Oh, there you go. See? New fonts. check the settings and yeah so far it's displaying correctly okay let's check in game uh, was it Good. All right. So let's go to settings. Quit. All right. So yeah, just play around with this. Uh, just play around with the strings, and just see uh, uh, which font do you like, or you can go with the font switch here, which looks similar to the one that I replaced. But I think this looks look just a little bit nicer. But the bad thing about it is, yes, it does go out out of the text box uh, in, in game. So okay. So next. 
we are uh, if you want the background or not the background but the UI menu uh, to be solid colors uh, let's see let's go to uh, yeah back to our CT Explorer we'll go to patch open patch and so this is our Chrono Trigger mods uh, you want the I don't know I, I just grabbed the uh, blue UI mod so I'm gonna click that highlight that say open and it says do you want to clear our privacy say no okay and then let's save yep and then just wait for the progress to finish now let's test it out And I'm sorry that I'm doing this one at a time. I just want to show you how uh, how this works at time and just show you guys the differences. Okay, so. Yes. Okay. So there you go. There's that blue, blue menu. And I'm not sure if the battle menu will change as well. Let's check it out. Oh, it does. Okay, so yeah. There we go. And look, no more a, uh, uh, active time bar. If you don't want the active time bar, yep, uh, just use that one. Cool. Looks good. All right, let's. And then, oh yeah, the portrait menus. Yeah, they look really, really pixelated. So if you want either a high definition version you can change that or you can um, you can get the other uh, portrait which looks different so let's check. okay one thing I forgot to mention is um, anytime you uh, you have a, uh, a dot CTP file those are the ones that you want to patch you want to go to patch and then open it and then it will replace whatever is on the resource uh, line here and anytime you have to change like a like a face portrait, a, a, a picture, you would go to uh, it, it's either the bins here or the PN, P, PNG uh, files. You want to go to entry and then uh, uh, replace. So if you want to replace the uh, the the character portraits. Uh, so uh, the, I think the default was the pixelated pictures. Uh, you can use one of these here. So we're, we'll go with this one right here. So we'll open up your CT Explorer. Go to Entry and oh, I'm sorry. You want to look for things. Yeah, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you want to look for extension face. So you click on that Entry replace. And then uh, I'm gonna choose this one right here. So, oh, actually, I want to show you how the face looks like. So this here, uh, this is how the pictures will look like, and it will replace the pixelated pictures. So we'll use that. Okay, so back here, um, replace with face, and then oh yeah, I. I want to change I want to change the font again so whenever you want to change uh, the font always uh, replace one of these strings with a uh, string 2 here so click that entry replace we'll go we'll go one and then save archive Oh yeah, you know we might as well um, see. Uh, the, I forgot about the AT bar, bar too. If you want your uh, active bar to to be on the game and you want it uh, kind of reduced, uh, you'll go to patch, open patch. Yeah, we, we'll use this file right here, CTB. So look for the yeah, ATB reduce UI. So open that. Say no, and then save. Might as well do it. And then we'll test it out. All right, let's see it. And there we go. New 
fonts. Okay, so let's load. Let's see, let's, let's see if the yeah, there we go. Uh, new portraits, so that's how you replace it. Looks good, too. All right, and then let's see if the active bar is... Uh, reduce active bars there. Yep, it's right there, too. Well, there you have it. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Oh yeah, just uh, just FYI. Uh, once you install the the UI uh, menu color change, you will get some bugs like this where it's not showing um, some of the options here on the settings. I don't know why. I think I think it's probably the font or the menu. But whatever it is, yeah. I mean, if you don't mind, it it, it looks good as the way it is here. So. Yeah, and then, oh yeah, and then I don't know if you guys noticed that sometimes the font below right here, yeah, it's, it's kind of overlapping the text box, so if you don't mind about that, then it should work great, so, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. And another good example is sometimes, like... So I think this here, I think the text uh, for this won't go out of the box. Yeah, it's this this one fits perfectly. So let me, uh, I'll show you the other, the other font. Another thing I want to show is the other uh, font switch here, which uh, it does look good, but it does go out of the box. So let's try that one. Say no, and then save. Okay, so. Yeah, look at that. That looks really, really nice. But if you know that, like for some, for some text box, it does go out of the box. Like that. See, that is horrible. Now, if you don't mind it, then um, pretty much it, it's a really good uh, font. Yeah, if you don't mind if it goes out like that sometimes on some uh, scenario, so. But knowing that, I, I think this is a really good font, you know, if you don't mind uh, the bugs and errors that it gives. Okay, so there you have it. That is it, and uh, I hope um, this tutorial will help you guys with the Chrono Trigger uh, Steam version game. Hope it make it enjoyable for you guys, and uh, yeah, I think uh, hopefully um, this will help you guys out. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching the tutorial, and uh, please remember to subscribe, comment, share, and like the video. And if you guys can, do support the channel. There's a PayPal and Streamlabs link on the video description below. And as well as my Facebook and Twitter. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody.